Ask any nature photographer what inspires them to spend time in the outdoors and I'm confident that the answer would be a universal one. It's, it's not the image that they're chasing, but the experience. It's the act of looking for those scenes that move us, the sense of discovery, reaction, and excitement about a subject, location, and of course, let's not forget light. Photography is exciting when we photograph the topics we're passionate about, whether it be nature photography, rock climbing, trail running, or just a stroll in your local park. These activities act as catalysts to momentarily excuse ourselves from a busy world and to be present in nature, to be just you, savoring the moment. My name is Adam Gibbs and I've lived in the province of British Columbia for as long as I've been making photographs. I started with 35mm equipment and quickly migrated to larger format cameras from 645, 6x7 and I eventually settled on 4x5. From 4x5 transparency film to the Fujifilm line of digital cameras, Fujifilm has been with me throughout my 30 year career. Most recently, I've been spending much of my time photographing the last stands of British Columbia's old growth forests, primarily on the west coast of Vancouver Island. For this project, I've been excited to use the Fujifilm GFX 100S camera, plus the recent addition of the Fujifilm 20 to 35 millimeter f4 lens. Faithful color rendition, uh, contrast and sharp details within the landscape are essential to me. The Fujifilm 20 to 35 millimeter lens renders all of those details beautifully from corner to corner. Using a, a wide angle zoom in a woodland setting is quite unusual for me as it creates a, a distance from my subject that I usually try to avoid. However, the 20 to 35 has forced me to get closer and personal within the scene. The broader angle of view creates an intimacy and a relationship with the foreground that is often quite hard to achieve. While I have to put more thought into the relationship between these elements, the results can be stunning. The weight of the lens is a welcome surprise, especially to my aging back. I often carry several cameras for video and photography, so keeping weight to a minimum is essential. Zoom lenses give me the best bang for the buck in covering as many focal lengths as possible. So not only is the weight of the lens reasonable, but the internal zoom keeps the size of the lens constant. So it's uh, easy to stow away in my camera bag. The extra 3mm over Fujifilm's widest prime lens, the, uh, the 23mm f4 lens, is definitely a nice addition. The extra 3mm offers a bit more flexibility, especially when I'm photographing in tight spots 
or the ground landscape or taking advantage of the in-camera crop tool which I use quite often such as the 16x9 or the 65x24 panorama formats. Weather sealing is essential for any camera design, especially for the outdoor photographer. I'm pretty rough with my gear and won't think twice about shooting a subject that's in a damp environment. The 20 to 35 is not only weather sealed to keep rain and dirt away from essential connections, but the front element has a fluorine coating to help repel dust and, uh, and water. I'm really excited about this lens and it opens up a realm of new ways to photograph familiar subjects for me with what I consider to be one of the finest cameras on the market, the, uh, the Fujifilm GFX 100S. And the two together are a really exciting combination. <laughs>